a graphing calculator, we can convert between scientific, engineering, and normal notations in any combination. All we have to do is select our mode button right here and make a decision. Um, if we're in scientific mode, the middle one right here, any number we enter will be converted to scientific notation. So if I start with a number in engineering mode, let's say 22 times 10 to the 6th power, let's try 9th power, and I press enter, what's returned is that number in scientific notation, 2.2 .2 times 10 to the 10th. Right, This e means times 10, and the number after the e is the exponent. So going back to our mode, if we select scientific notation by enter a number in normal notation or in engineering notation, it's converted to scientific notation. Likewise, if I select engineering notation, if I start with a number in normal or scientific notation, it'll be converted to engineering notation. And if I select normal notation, um, there are some limitations on how this works. Um, the calculator will display a number in normal notation, but if the number is too large or too small, it will default and display it in scientific notation. Let me show you what I mean. If I enter in point zero zero one and I press enter, the calculator will stay in normal mode. Anything smaller than point zero zero one, like point zero 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 nine, is converted into scientific notation. And if I enter a number that's too large, something over ten digits, like one times ten to the eleventh, it will not display in normal mode. It'll leave it in scientific notation. Um, so there are some limitations there, but the possibility of conversion uh, is there for you in many cases, and the Gaffer calculator could take a lot of headache away there. Thanks.